You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the clock cleaners podcast. I'm Matt and I'm Keith and today we'll be doing our Hell in a Cell uh, pay-per-view recap. But yeah. first we are going to do the drawing for the winner of the Enzo art print and figure giveaway. Yeah. So we put the name for all of the uh, participants in this little Fancy ball, ball here. here. Um, and we're going to be uh, drawing yeah. the name. You want to pick it out? Sure. All right. Hopefully I can read what they say. Mm. I didn't. You do might it right. not be able to. That's why I said hopefully. Yeah. All right. We got <laughs> CKYY2J. All right. Congratulations. Um, you can send us an email at clockcleanerspodcast at gmail.com. Um, if I don't hear from you, I'll, uh, I'll find a way to contact you. All right. So let's get into it. Yes. So, uh, what was your... Uh, into it, I mean the pay-per-view. Well, obviously. Uh, I don't know. We're not going to start fighting for no reason. we got to gotta at least come up with the reason to start fighting. Well, the WWE comes up with awfully bad reasons to get into fights. Touche. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I, I think we differ a little here on opinions. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I had your syndrome where I went into this expecting it to be bad, mm-hmm. and looking back on it, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Mm-hmm. I thought it was a really good show while watching it. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Yes. It went by very quickly, or not very quickly, but it went by smoothly, mm-hmm. minus a couple of points. And well, the fact that pay-per-views still need to be padded out with the, and I understand why they do it, yeah. with the, the um, segments in the middle and yeah. the video packages, but... Well, I mean, with the pre-show, this was a four and a half hour pay-per-view. It's true. That's uh, that's a long time. But then again, no one watches the pre-show, so we both watched the pre-show. Technically, it was on. It doesn't mean we were watching it. Fair enough. Yeah, you you put it on. You wait so, till the match comes on. Yeah, and mm-hmm. the only thing that came out of it was the announcement for the, uh, oh, the, the triple threat. The triple threat. Yes. So um, yeah, so yeah. before the match on the pre-show, they had. Or Ty Dillinger had gone backstage to Daniel Bryan and uh, said, I deserve to be in the triple threat or in, in the U.S. title match. And uh, they went with the whole 10 and yes thing. And yes, that was, was awkward. It was awkward, but it was funny. Um, but yeah, they should have done it on SmackDown last week. Yeah. That should have been like I, to close the show. I think it was such a giveaway when they added Ty into the match. That what was going to happen? He was going to get pinned. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. So. Um. But yeah, and then on the pre-show, Sheldon Benjamin and um, Chad Gable versus the Hype Bros, which yeah. I thought was actually better than anticipated. Well, yeah, the match was good. Well, it didn't end where I kind of figured it was going to end, mm-hmm. where they had that double team move. I don't remember what it was. Uh, but there was the the not the Hype Writer. No, 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 no. Uh, well, he hit, they hit that as well. No, they almost they went they for tried that. for yeah. That. No, when uh, Gable and Benjamin hit their first combination oh, with, oh okay and i kind of figured i was like oh that's gonna be it and then they made the they broke up the pin and mm-hmm. they went back and forth and then they hit their what was it like a uh power bomb yeah it's amplitude like, type yeah. thing yeah that's pretty cool move. yeah um but yeah the chad gable and uh Shelton benjamin ended up going over mm-hmm. um no heel turn or any kind of breakup for the hype rose. No, but there was definitely some well, the animosity fact, toward each other. The fact that Ryder was wearing different, his old mm-hmm. Zack Ryder gear is kind of telling. But nothing definite had happened yeah. at this point. It could and, happen on SmackDown. Well, it was week, so weird but, the way they ended it. Like, they abruptly. got the win, and then all of a sudden they went back to the panel. Mm-hmm. And it was like you didn't see any celebration from Benjamin well, and Gable. that's or... usually how they do it, unless right. there's something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. That's fair. All right. So, let's yeah. move on to the main card. Yeah. So we uh, started the show with, uh, I think, probably hands down the best match on the card. Yes. Yeah. Um, the tag title match. Yes. It's kind of funny because, like, at first, I'm like, why are they putting this on first? Mm-hmm. And now I, I get why they put it on first. Wow. It was it was quite quite a long match and it was very yeah. very good and it was a very good way to get. Well, it was good to space the, out the, the well that too. too. They yeah. wanted a bookend of the show, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and that's uh, it was a. Uh, I think that's probably the main reason why they made the chain, or they didn't make Jinder Nakamura oh, hell in a cell. Been. Oh, yeah. because um, they didn't want to have an excuse or they wanted an excuse not to put it on last. 
Right. Okay. That's what yeah, I was yeah, thinking. That makes sense. Yeah. This, this way, they can say they wanted to bookend the show with mm-hmm. the Hell in a Cells, and since Jinder and Nakamura weren't a Hell in a Cell, they yeah had a reason not to put it on last. No, that's, that's That was that my thought sense. going yeah. into the or when I was watching the mm-hmm. show. But yeah, this this was something else. Oh, the, um, the tag team. Yeah, one? this was oh. this was fantastic from oh, yeah. start to finish. There mm-hmm. was no moments where it was like. All right, that's it. I mean, like there was plenty of times when you thought the match was going to end, and mm-hmm. it didn't. Yep. Like when they hit the the Samoan splashes on Biggie in the middle of the ring, and then mm-hmm. yeah, just just so much good stuff. Um, the the match started, and immediately they all went outside mm-hmm. to oh, uh, just to start it off. Kofi Kingston was on the outside of the yes, cell. Exactly. He was not allowed mm-hmm. in. It was Woods and Biggie against the Usos. But yeah, they immediately go outside, look underneath the uh, the ring for weapons. You know what? I noticed this match. Both of the Usos are about the same size now. So whichever Uso is slightly overweight has lost the I was weight. gonna say it's really hard to tell. Yeah. The only way you could really tell is that one had their hair down and the other one had yeah. their hair up. Yeah. That was the easiest mm-hmm. way to tell. Right. Um But yeah, they all grabbed I think the Usos grabbed a kendo stick and a chair. Mm-hmm. And uh Woods grabbed I they think They had a, like a rainbow a trombone. Was it? Did they oh no, grid, no, no, no! They Woods, grid all the kendo sticks first, yeah, right? And yeah, then, and then uh, Woods had a uh, like a rainbow, a rainbow the, kendo stick. Yeah, yeah, and then they eventually they grabbed the trombones, right? Yeah, there was a, two, two different them. colored ones, <laughs> which were both broken over one of the Usos back or whatever. Yeah, um, and a lot after, of kendo sticks in this. Yeah, match. Oh yeah. Well, I think at one point um, Xavier Woods had snapped and like broke like three of them. Mm-hmm over the usos um but yeah in this match we saw a spot where i think it was jay got like trapped like onto the cell in the corner yeah in the corner between the the kendo kendo sticks (laughs) that was one hell of a spot um what about the uh the electric chair dived through the ropes with Big E. Oh yeah, smashed his head right on yep. the cage. Mm-hmm. But I was like, oh my god, oh, that's yeah. bad. that's. Bad. I'd rather you do that than do it uh, normally because he almost dies anyway. Well, yeah, he goes a lot further yeah. when he well a little <laughs> bit further at least. Um, the there was a spot where Big E was on the turn on the apron, and he like throws one of the Usos down on the ground, and Xavier is like in a code breaker position. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, on the it, on the it didn't outside. look the prettiest, but no, it, it looked it, like it hurt yeah. Xavier oh, quite yeah. a bit, especially since he's I think he's got bad knees anyway. He well, was he had an, braced up. Yeah, yeah, he had an injury right. not too long ago. Yeah, um, but it was a lot of physical, mm-hmm. really good spots. Yeah. Um, at one point, Xavier was tied. Oh, he's handcuffed. Yeah, yeah, he was handcuffed down. The the, the Usos actually got handcuffs for both of them. Mm-hmm. I think Big E was yeah. never actually. Yeah, handcuffed. I think it was just stuck on his wrist one wrist and then yeah. he broke it maybe because he was just there was just links dangling on yeah it. um and then um but xavier was like strung up with his hands his above his head the, on the, on, on, onto the ring post right where there his feet was on the stairs mm-hmm. and then they just took turns beating him with the kendo sticks oh yeah they got him good i didn't look at the pictures but i know somebody had posted them and apparently it looked bad yeah or it looked like it was going to be bad um and uh so yeah it was a very very brutal match mm-hmm. a lot of good spots and like you said a lot of points in time where we thought that the match yeah, was going to end right yeah um but yeah there was it was not one side at all it was pretty even oh yeah absolutely match. it was one team uh, isolated one guy and then worked on the other guy mm-hmm. and then the, the tables turned and so on and so forth there yep. was no tables in this match was there no but they called for the tables oh so dumb. we want tables <laughs> shut up yeah um so it was uh it was it was a good match um a really good match yeah um inevitably the usos win by doing their the the oos right the double oos i think they call it it's very strange oh yeah that one of them didn't land very well he landed landed... on the legs of the chair and i was Mm -hmm. like oh yeah that is not fun um but yeah the i believe the big E gets pinned? I think so. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. You wrote the notes. Yeah, I forgot to mention that part. <laughs> I, fi- I think I figured it would be more obvious based off of the events that led yeah. up to it. But but, uh, but yeah, the Usos win, and they end up getting their fifth um, fifth tag team yeah, championship. that's what they reign. said, right? That's mm-hmm. crazy. Well, not really, because they've had three in the last six months. Yeah, I, I know. So That's true. And they had two before... And I think the last one was in 2014. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I, I must say um, that 
I, the previous gimmick the Usos had, I never thought I could get behind them. They really just complete 180 turn. Mm-hmm. And no, no, it's funny. I don't like their gimmick now, but I like them. Yeah, their gimmick is so dumb. It's it's way too stereotypical. Is it dumber than their previous gimmick? No. Okay. I'm just saying that it's a little too stereotypical, and their attitude is more of the reason why to like them than necessarily what they're doing. You're gonna complain about this gimmick being too stereotypical. I complain about gender too. Okay. There's a lot of gimmicks and, that and are very... Shinsuke. <laughs> um, we can go on and on and on, folks. Um, but I'm just saying that I think that part is overlooked. But it, the ability supersedes, you know? I mean, you can mm-hmm. overlook it. It's true. Yeah. I guess. Like I yeah. said, I think that the, the penitentiary stuff is dumb. But beyond that, their attitude and their, their I guess, aggressiveness mm-hmm. certainly helps. Yeah. Right. So, but, uh. After this match, we yep. have an interview of AJ Styles. Mm-hmm. He asked about his match tonight. Yeah. With, uh, well, now it was changed to a triple threat, so now his odds of winning go down. Yes, even now it's more. 33%. Yes, down from 50. <laughs> yep. Um, so. so then up next we had Rusev versus Randy Orton. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said to you, this match was good. Mm-hmm. I just couldn't get into it. Yeah. Um, this is a pretty stale story at this point in time because it seems like it's leading nowhere. Well, it's... After listening to Randy on like the Edge and Christian podcast, and he doesn't want to be a face anymore, it kind of shows. Like, I don't know. I didn't think there was really any point in time where he or in this match. No, I just match mean in the storyline. That's yeah. that's all I mean. Oh, okay, yeah. that's different. Yeah, because well, he's gonna... not. He hasn't been really involved. He came in, hit an RKO, and mm-hmm. that's it. Yeah, it's been Rusev and uh, what English. English doing all the work. Yeah, because they should have had Aiden English introduce Rusev. It would... He was on the pre-show. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, he was. Yeah. Um, but, yeah I, yeah, I guess that makes sense. But in the matches themselves, he's been very... It seems like he's invested. Yeah, but Rusev dominated the majority of this match. Mm-hmm. And um, and when it, whatever Orton tried to do pretty much got countered. Yeah. That was, I think, toward the end of the match where Orton went for the RKO and then Rusev reversed it into the accolade. Yeah, that was the that very was a end nice of the spot. match. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, he went for the RKO and then Rusev went for the accolade. And then immediately, Randy Orton hits him with the RKO. That was it. So that was a little surprising because I honestly thought it was going to end with Rusev winning at that point. Well, here's the problem. I mean, I understand that Randy's been booked to lose basically this whole year. Mm -hmm. Um, But Rusev's been made to look like absolute crap on the last three pay-per-views. SummerSlam, he got beaten, what, nine seconds? John Cena at Battleground, you knew he wasn't going to win that That's match. That's true. And this match just... Now, had he been in Shinsuke's role of the evil foreigner or whatever you want to put him in, I think that would have worked gender? better. Yeah, what did I say? Shinsuke? Shinsuke? Yeah, I meant gender. Shinsuke's supposed to be the lovable foreigner. <laughs> different. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a solid match. Good good performance on both sides. Mm. Like we said, stale story. Yeah. So it's kind of like... That's... I understand why you feel it's hard to... Yeah. But, well, again, after being into the the match previously, usually it's supposed to carry over, mm-hmm. but for me, it did not. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't have that problem. Yeah, no. Um. All right, so uh, that brings us into the triple threat U.S. title match. Yes, this was a very good match. Um, mm-hmm. I, all three competitors had looks at certain points. I mean, Baron Corbin did a fantastic job throughout the whole match. He was very involved. Dominant. Yeah. Yeah, and dominant. Well, that that's what you were able to show with three people in this mm-hmm. match. You really were able to show that Corbin is so much bigger and stronger than both AJ and Ty. Yeah, he was able to fight off both of them at once. Mm-hmm. He was able to pick them apart when they were alone. Yeah. AJ took a couple of nasty bumps, too. He, he did. He likes yeah. to flop around. Yeah. Like a fish. But, yeah, and uh, so, like, I had said earlier on, once the addition of Ty came to this match, I kind of knew that Corbin was going to pin him and mm-hmm. win the title, which although, he did. Although they did have spots where it was believable that anybody else would win, Oh, too. absolutely, yeah. So yeah, that's, no. that certainly helps the story. Yeah. And uh, and Ty deserved to be in the match. Oh, absolutely, especially considering his involvement the mm-hmm. last month yeah. or so. <laughs> I don't understand, yeah, like you said, why this wasn't done previously, but yeah. again. Oh, well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the finish is uh, AJ hits a uh, tie with a phenomenal forearm. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and then Corbin kicks him, kicks him again. Well, yeah, because he was supposed to go out of the ring, yeah. but he ends up not going mm-hmm. as far. So he has to. Corbin kick him was again. getting so excited. I think get yeah. out. And then he pins. Well, it, it is realistic that he wants him to get out to give him right. a better yeah, chance absolutely. of getting the pinfall. No, so. I understand that. It's so. just funny. Um, so yeah, he uh, pins Ty, mm-hmm. and now um, Baron is the new U.S. champ. So what do you think? They got maybe a one-off match, and then AJ goes on to bigger and better things? Well, I think he's already scheduled for a rematch on Tuesday. Oh, yeah, that's right. They did say that. Um, and then, so, what will happen is he'll lose, mm-hmm. and then he'll probably, or hopefully... Maybe get into a program with gender? Um, well, it's well, weird. Because we're going into Survivor Series, yes. so there's a chance that they could continue Shinsuke until Survivor Series... And then after that, have because I think AJ would be better spent in a fresh feud after that. What's um their December pay per view? Uh, it's going to be um Roadblock. Oh right, okay. Um, well it's weird because apparently the WWE had an um a promo for an event in the somewhat near future i don't know if it was before or after the india tour but it said that jinder was a two-time champion so and then they were immediately removed it hmm. yeah interesting so who knows so well that that is possible that we they do what we had said mm-hmm. drop the title to shinsuke and have him win it back in right. india yeah um, but i think going in it looks stronger as the champion i guess i don't know yeah. i like the i like the idea if they're going to do it yeah to have him win the title mm-hmm. there it makes more sense yeah um but either way yep so that brought us up to the women's title match with mm. natalia defending her title against charlotte flair yes um this was an i don't want to say an odd match but it was different in the i guess style st- yeah i guess so. well I don't it, was, know. it was like a uh a submission oriented yeah match because they both have their finishers mm-hmm. being um the the uh, figure eight and the sharpshooter respectively um which last tuesday charlotte had tapped out to the sharpshooter very quickly yes so i kind of figured that if charlotte was to win she would overcome the sharpshooter and then win with uh the figure eight yeah yeah um inevitably that is not what happened no natalia was able to get the upper hand i think the majority of the match right um, for, for, all right maybe it was she, pretty even she very early on worked on t- take, takes out her i want to say left knee yeah um and then pretty much she's hobbled for the rest of the match mm-hmm. um yeah, uh, this was to allow her to i guess better better use for the sharpshooter yeah and not allow her to use her moon salt and stuff like mm-hmm. that because i think they uh Went for, she went for it a couple times inside the ring. Well, the first time she got knocked down, mm-hmm. so she was she took her too long to get to the top. Oh, that's right. I think that's what it was. Yeah. Um, but so. yeah, she did a good job selling it. Oh yeah, she so. she was doing a lot of yeah. hobbling around and everything. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, they really didn't build this feud up too much. No, but I think this was not meant to be a big story. Well, this isn't the end of it. No, it certainly helps that right. they yeah. don't do they don't. This was similar to maybe when aj and kevin owens had their match in that spot with the table mm-hmm. the announcer just table ended. yeah yeah that's true um but uh at some point because they dropped it and then they picked it up because that was when they had uh, money in the bank yep so maybe that could be the whole survivors i, I don't know what they do whatever with they series. whatever they that's, do it's hard to tell it that's well over a month away right but that's smackdown's next paper yeah yeah so it does not help um but yeah, at one point Charlotte goes for the moonsault and actually successfully hits it, but um, yeah. she kind of whiffs. Natalia. That was on the outside. Yeah, um, and then at that point, I guess it was meant to look like Charlotte had successfully hit it, mm-hmm. and Natalia like gets gets frustrated and gets a steel chair and hits her with the chair, and mm-hmm. then the gets ref calls for the bell. DQ, and uh, so yeah, that yeah. was that was it. Now mm-hmm. Natalia is still women's champion. And no sight of Carmella at all. No. Which is a little surprising because of, the, uh, like, at SummerSlam, they kind of made her... They made it a big deal, yeah. yeah. Which I think they did, what, maybe last week or two weeks ago when 
uh, uh, Natalia pretty much, yelled at her. Pretty so. much every week, yeah, yeah. She's been some kind of... But maybe but that's that, the whole thing. They've been hammering it in that you're waiting for it, and mm-hmm. then it doesn't happen. Yeah. So, but yeah, it, like I said, I, I had no no real issue with the match. The finish was weird. Yeah. But I think they wanted pres- to preserve Charlotte, mm-hmm. uh, but they wanted to keep the belt on Natalia for a little bit at the very least. So at least that makes a little bit of sense. Yeah. All right. So uh, after that, we mm-hmm. uh, we had finally had the return of the Fashion Files. Oh yes, that was that was after this. They're back to basics. Mm-hmm. Um, they were finishing up the two B yes, case. They had finally closed that case. Which I and don't think we got any closure on that, did no, we? All they did was close the box. <laughs> That's how they closed the case. Um, and then they they reminisced on their their. I guess their time oh, during the, the case, uh, and they both look up, and then they do the, like the swirly mm-hmm. motion, and that's all you see. I was is gonna this... say the picture board behind them. Was oh, the fi- great. yes, it you was had great. Cesaro wanted to say the Tooth Fairy three. Yes, and then who did it have Kevin Owens? Kevin Owens and, and Randy Orton Ray- were allergic to, to sleeves. sleeves, and then Raven was there, and it said that's so Raven. Yes, I don't know what the other picture. There was, was one more. Yeah. I cannot remember what it was. Yeah. It was a good one too. Yeah, that should have been Michael Hayes. Those were always classic. But, um, yeah, so the uh, uh, Ascension come in, and they bring them a tube, right? Well, it, it wasn't the Ascension. It was... Oh, sorry, the delivery men. Mm-hmm. That was the Ascension dressed up as... Yeah, it was weird. Delivery men. It so was they, terrible disguises, Yeah. apparently uh, they fooled the fashion files. Oh, we didn't get to that point yet. Or the, the fashion police. So they bring them this tube, and... I think uh, Tyler was trying to say tube, two B, tube, and two B. Yeah. So they open it, and it was a picture. Right, it was a picture of the Ascension. Yeah. yeah and and it, it says the Ascension. We want to be your friend. Yes, that's what the two B was. And then they were like, "Wow, these guys are really annoying. I don't want to be friends with them." Mm-hmm. And then the Ascension was obviously the delivery guy. So they're like, "Wow, that really hurts." <laughs> and then they kind of just left the room. And then. Uh, then we heard a knock at the door, and mm-hmm. uh, Dango and Breeze go out to open the door, and there's a briefcase on the floor. So then they open it up, and you know there's glaring light and everything, and oh. this is the new case. Oh man, I just I, I pulled up the clip for it, mm-hmm. and in the garbage they have a bunch of the old pictures All on right. on the uh, in Come the garbage up. can. There's one R Truth one right there. Nice. Looks like there's a pile of them. I'm waiting for them to cut back over. And Tyler like standing in the way. Yeah. It's it's Ty Dillinger. I just don't know what it says. And they do that swirly thing. But yeah. Right. So the next case is case is going to be Pulp Fashion, right? That's what they said. Yeah. Oh, and uh, that's so it. that's going to be a Pulp Fiction parody, obviously. Yeah. And I guess it's going to be this Tuesday. Yes. They they claimed, that's what they although said. they said that this one was going to be on Tuesday as well. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, that brought us to the WWE Championship match with mm-hmm. Jinder defending his title once again against Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah. Yeah. Not much you really can say about this. It's kind of what we expected. Yeah. As far as match quality goes, these two just don't mesh well together. Yeah. It's hard to... What does it say? Oh, oh that that hair's a four. <laughs> right. For uh, Ty Dillinger. <laughs> What were you saying there? Um, it's... I don't remember. Jinder and Shinsuke not meshing well together. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not expected that their matches aren't great. Yeah. It, or it's not, it's not surprising that their matches aren't great. It's completely different styles. Yeah. So, I we went into this match thinking it wasn't going to be great. We left the match. It wasn't great. Yeah. That's really... That's all there is to it. Yeah. And it, I mean, it was pretty much the same story as in Survivor Series. I mean, not Survivor Summer Series. Slam. And SummerSlam. Yeah, we haven't got to that one yet. Um, And it would have made all the sense in the world for this to be an Hell in a Cell match, but I think yeah. their reasoning was because... I'm glad it wasn't. Yeah, I think the reasoning was because... um. This way, they didn't have an excuse, or they had an excuse not to put it on last, mm-hmm. and that's about it. Yeah. But yeah, Jinder ends up winning after hitting a coloss. Yeah, well, the Singh brothers get kicked out. Lil Nate sends them to the back. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shinsuke sets up for the Kinshasa, successfully hits it, goes to pin Jinder, one, two, and Jinder grabs the bottom rope. Did he hit the Kinshasa? Yeah, he hit it oh, the first okay. time. Yep. 
because I thought it was, was I thought it was a like a different. I thought it was a kick, not no. a knee. I'm pretty sure they called it the Kinshasa, nah. but whatever. So then Shinsuke sets oh, up. Oh, no, okay. It, yeah, it says sets there. up for another one. Jinder moves out of the way. Uh, Shinsuke, what, he hit the turnbuckle, right? Yeah, well, Jinder pushed him into the corner. Oh, that's right. Okay. And then he hits the then Colossus. Colossus. And Shinsuke sold the hell out of it. Mm-hmm. And that was it. Yeah. Um, I, The only problem I really have with this is that Shinsuke beat John Cena and Randy Orton and then loses to Jinder. It's just... It doesn't like make any it, sense. I get it, but at the same time, it's like, really? I hear you. Yeah, I mean, that's... It's just logic. It's the unfortunate situation. Yeah. It It's really... It's... It's them using kayfabe mm-hmm. in a, the, the most negative sense. Yeah, I, I like that. Yeah, that's, Beca- that's pretty fair. Because, like, a lot of the times they'll make things that don't make a whole lot of sense, but you're okay with it because mm-hmm. it's what you want. Right. But yeah. now it's the other way around. It's like, really? Where it doesn't make Is any that? sense, because, but you don't want it. Yeah. So. I don't know. I, I just I really hope we don't get a third match. Which um, we're going to, probably. Yeah. Because just... Orton and Jinder went three. Yes. At least. Well, they did Backlash, Money in the Bank, and Battleground. Yeah. So, but yeah, and we'll, then we'll, they wrestled on a SmackDown. <laughs> yeah, and Randy won that one. Yeah, that one he won because um, that was non-title, mm-hmm. which made no sense. But <laughs> but we can't really get. Oh, back wait, weren't the Singh brothers barred from ringside or something? I don't. Remember. But this got... that was also the match where Randy, uh, where Rusev came in and attacked mm-hmm. Randy afterwards. That's right. Um. Anyway, so uh, let's not talk about this anymore. Okay. At least so we. Right. can move on what is? um so up next we had an interview of uh kevin owens mm-hmm. but kevin owens immediately tells dash to go away you're great um, at your job but you know i don't need then, you yeah. um so he grabs the microphone from her and says pretty much that uh people talk about how hell in a cell is the most dangerous match and everything but they're not talking about how i am the most dangerous person and when i'm done with shane He's going to wish that he was never, or never crossed him mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah, this was just a time killer, basically. Oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah, he, but it wasn't necessary. True, but I'll tell you what, it's just, this is another example of Shane, uh, not Shane, Kevin showcasing how he is probably the best in the ah, WWE. Nah, I'm not going <laughs> to, not going to argue. His with character work is so good. And he, like, really is playing the part of someone mm-hmm. who's enraged so much that they yeah. can't control themselves. And that's not very often where they can really pull that off. No. There's not a point in time where it looks like Kevin doesn't want to mm-hmm. strangle Shane for real. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think his work with Jericho really elevated his game a lot, too. Well, but here's the thing. We just we don't know for sure that if it was necessarily Jericho helping him. No, no, no. I just was... mean his interaction with Jericho. I just think for the... For for kevin it just working with jericho not even necessarily him benefit you know uh because of chris just mm-hmm. working with him and having someone you know at that level same level mm-hmm. where you're able to well the thing is he's been doing stuff like this forever oh yeah so that's why it's hard to like maybe that with jericho is the first time he was able to properly showcase it mm-hmm. but i think he's always had the ability oh yeah, yeah, yeah i think no, this not... is just just them letting him go all out, which he hasn't really been able to no. do. I think that's really what it is. Yeah. Um, but anyway, moving on. Then we got the bathroom break match. Um, yeah. <laughs> Bobby um, Roode versus Dolph Ziggler. This was an odd place for this match. Well, yeah, but it, at the same time, the way they normally do things, it kind of makes mm-hmm. sense. But I'm, I'm glad Dolph came out to no music. Yes. That was the right way to do it. Mm-hmm. Um. Basically, he did his role. That that was it. Mm-hmm. This was. I don't think there was anybody that thought Dolph was going to win this match. No, 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 no. No need to. He did what he was told to. Well, yeah, um, but I, I don't. I don't know. It's it, they, these two don't mesh well together either. And supposedly, they're very different styles. Supposedly, they've been putting on good dark matches oh, or know. whatever. Hmm. Um, but at the same time, it's not really. Has well, really... It's just very different styles. Root is definitely a very slow worker, mm-hmm. and Dolph likes to mm-hmm. 
fancy technical yeah, stuff. Because when he hit the famouser, that was, it, that no, was not pretty. He didn't, he didn't even make well. contact. Yeah. But I mean, Corey even said he didn't said get all didn't. of it. Yeah. Um, and then after he unsuccessfully hit the famouser, he went mm-hmm. to, for sweet chin music, tuning up the band. Yep. And then uh, Root hits him with the spine bust there. Yep. And that was pretty much it. After mm-hmm. that, he, well, he hit the DDT, I believe. Yeah. And then Dolph tried to roll him up. And then I think they... No, he went for the DDT. I don't think he hit oh, it. Oh, okay. He twer- turned him around, and Dolph was able to roll, try to roll him up. Okay. And then that's when Rude reversed it, right? Well, yeah, he, he, he rolled him up, and then he got pushed into the corner, mm-hmm. and then they did a spinning thing there where they each went mm-hmm. for... Like the roll of pinfalls, yep. both holding onto the tights. Yep, and we almost see so Dolph's regular spot hole. Well, yeah, his white ass. <laughs> his body was so tan, and then you see his butt. Yeah, so well, that's, that's for white. most of them. I'm oh, assuming. Absolutely, um, it was just funny. But yeah, uh, and eventually Bobby Roode wins with the roll up or pulling, pulling the, tights. the tights. And uh, after the match, uh, Dolph Ziggler hits him with the zigzag. Yep. And uh, that was pretty much it. Yeah. But you know, whatever. It. It was a story that was made to go nowhere. Yeah, I mean, so. they really had, what, oh, two weeks of build, and it wasn't even build? Yeah, it was, well, it was longer than that, because Dolph was doing the... Uh, the entrance is right. Yeah, but. but the actual interaction between the two of them was just the last two mm-hmm. weeks. Hopefully, this does not go on, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, so that brought us to the main event. Yep. Shane McMahon versus Kevin Owens, and Hell in a Cell. Yes. Hell of a match. It was. It was... Um, for me, this was kind of a, uh, a nail-biter. I was waiting for somebody to die. I'm glad it didn't happen. It's true. I just, uh, it's just a 50 year old man. His kids are in the audience. You know, I'm just oh, like, oh. My, I liked how Shane, not Shane, uh, Kevin kept on yelling at his kids. All right, so I should be your role model. Right, but they were just laughing back at him. It was just um, there was in the beginning. Couple, there yeah, was a, yeah. There was a couple of points in time where they were yelling back mm-hmm. at him. Yeah, but, but in the first shot, they're all like laughing at him and stuff like that. I was like, oh, that's not good. Um, but they're, even in their work in the ring, before they mm-hmm. made it outside, was very good. Yeah. That spot with the table, oh my god, or, Owens launched himself yeah, so fast. It, it's funny, because you see the eye contact, Shane's off the table. Yeah. At a point in time where Kevin cannot do the cannonball, yeah. but he like he wasn't able to stop his momentum, mm-hmm. but he could have not, obviously, the doing the cannonball part's probably the smartest thing he could have yeah. done. Yeah. But it's funny because he's still looking at Shane. Shane's off the table, and then that, that's when he jumps. But it's just kind of funny. Yeah. Um, but it was a, a great spot. Shane hits coast to coast. Yep. With and the Terminator. With, with the uh, which, of course, we get the fantastic officials because Owens put his foot on the rope and it shouldn't have been a rope oh, break. Oh <laughs> yeah. It, it, you know. Oh, I don't care. It was just funny. Yeah, it's the the constant. Not making sense yeah, with the rules. Because I even think one of the announcers pointed it out too, and that uh, shouldn't have been a rope break. Yeah, because it didn't. It wouldn't have counted in the triple threat match, but it, true. it counts in the Hell and Cell mm-hmm. match. Doesn't make any sense. No. Yeah, because um, that was right when uh, AJ had Ty in the calf crusher and mm-hmm. just Baron just oh, pulls yeah, that him was, out of the that ring. Was, that was cool. I yeah. like that. That stuff like that doesn't happen very often. No. Like they'll break up things, but Tim actively <laughs> ripping him out of the ring. <laughs> um. But uh, it was a funny spot where before they were going outside, Shane grabs bolt cutters. And oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Shane tells the ref to open the door. He's like, well, we can't do that. Yeah. And that's when he grabs the bolt cutters and unsuccessfully. Yeah, that took a little while. Yeah. Gets the chain off the door mm-hmm. eventually. And uh, so. They forced the outside. What, he hit a DDT on the on the entrance ramp? It yes. Was, it looked like someone's head made a little contact. Yeah. Um, and then. Eventually, they make their way to like to where the announce tables mm-hmm. are, and Shane. No, Kevin's gonna do like a frog splash off of the barricade, and right. then he looks up, oh, yeah. and then he decides that he wants to do it off the cage. Mm-hmm. Climbs up to the cage, has a very hard time. He's like kind of trying to psych himself. And yeah, smacking so, himself. All right, what I'm, what I'm thinking is that this was supposed to be Shane gets up a lot sooner. Right, and so he's basically just waiting for Shane to get up. That's mm-hmm. why he's doing all that stuff. Um, so I guess this was meant to be a rest point for Shane. Yeah. And I guess he needed more rest than they expected. <laughs> he was having trouble getting down those stairs last week on SmackDown. Yeah. <laughs> so he, uh, Shane ends up climbing up the, the cell and then Kevin Owens tries to knock him off by punching him. Yeah. But he's unsuccessful. Shane grabs him, pulls him down 
and then the two of them end up on the top of the shell yeah. and they brawl. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I think, think at this point, well, they, they Kevin hit a pop up power bomb mm-hmm. and they hit a couple of different spots. Yeah, and then I think Owens was gonna throw Shane off the cell, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, and then it kind of got reversed and they were working their way back down the cell mm-hmm. and uh, hitting each other. Yeah, and then what Owens got? Did he get smacked off or? Mm-hmm. Where do you get kicked off? Or um, this the, he does fall into the. Yeah. I kind of figured they were gonna go with that Shawn Michaels spot with the, him and the Undertaker when the Undertaker. I don't remember if he smacked his head against the cage mm-hmm. or and then he just he fell kicked backwards. him and he just fell back through the table. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, he just yeah. knocks him off. Yeah, no one just hit the table perfectly dead center and mm-hmm. was down. Yep, and then yeah, then the EMTs come over to check on Owens. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shane tells them to go away. Right. And that's when Shane starts climbing back yeah, up. Yeah, he, he picks him up, puts him on the announce table, mm. setting him up for the elbow that he did against The Undertaker. Which is funny. Um, there was a clip where they had, you know, the, the wide view where you could see Shane up top and Owens on the table, and you kept seeing Sammy start to walk over oh, and you walk do? back and walk back over. And he's like, because he's looking at Shane, and then uh-huh. when Shane did the... He's trying yeah. to... Yeah. It's pretty funny. Um... But yeah, he puts Owens on the table, mm-hmm. and then he climbs up. He gets ready for his elbow, mm. and then right, well, they they cut to the wide when he jumps to to show the descent. But at the bottom of your screen, you can see a guy in a black sweatshirt run over and pull Kevin Owens yep. off of the table, and Shane goes crashing through. And then apparently, it's Sami Zayn. Yeah, like you spoiled just now. Oh. <laughs> um, not that it matters, but no. so uh, which I had called. You did. I said he's he's gonna get involved. I said he's oh, gonna be a hero. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. Sammy getting involved. So not this exact th- spot. This this was, I think, really good, because they're starting to go back towards the. Okay, let's take people. This is gonna be the Kevin Owens show. Well, yeah, but <laughs> you take people that, and you put them together and make teams right. instead of having everyone work on their own like mm. they've been doing for such a long time. Yeah. Doing with the Shield now. Um, you have these two work together you know it just makes more sense they can do their individual things but if you're associated with someone especially someone you're best friends with, yeah it makes you stronger so yeah and then and it's funny because um sammy had warned shane not to go through with this so kind of had to come on him what was gonna happen so but yeah after it was just such good storytelling in mm -hmm. this match it really was Shane Shane's down because he went through the table. Sami Zayn picks up Kevin Owens, puts him on the onto Shane. Tells the ref to count one, two, three. Which the ref was like not gonna count mm-hmm. for a second. Like, that's like Yoda, job. right? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, yeah, that was it. That's how Kevin and Owens wins. Shane, they, the EMTs put him on a stretcher. Goes up the stage, gives the thumbs up, and that's how we end the show. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's that was one hell of a match. Yeah, SmackDown should be interesting. I don't know the extent of Shane's uh, injuries, injuries, but supposedly he did suffer some. Yeah, well, I don't know if it was kayfabe or I, well, anything like that, because even People Magazine had an article about him before. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Crazy old bastard jumps off the cell again. That's yeah. probably what But he landed right on his arm. I was like, oh. Yeah. So. I mean, you could tell the table was padded, but apparently what somebody had told me i don't know if this was true or not but apparently when he did it against the undertaker they had like an airbag under the table to soften the blow makes sense this one they did not oh that's not good yeah well that's what i've heard so mm. i could be wrong yeah well, you know but it was certainly a good good match should mm-hmm. hopefully lead up to some interesting smackdown storylines yeah um i really wish i understood why their tvs are so garbage when they can put on a show like this it doesn't make any sense. No, not really. Um, but the storytelling and everything, I thought for the most part was great in this show. Even if the matches weren't a hundred percent on par with what they should have been, yeah. they were still progressing in the story and everything made sense, more or less. Mm-hmm. Minus I think Natalia using the chair, but she's still the heel. Whatever. So it still makes sense. Right. And this And it furthers for, the storyline. Yeah, exactly. So very, very good show was not expecting it yeah um and uh so yeah that was our hell in a cell review yep um i guess the 
Just remind the person oh, again. Yes, and the winner of the Enzo giveaway is CKYY2J again. You can contact us at clockcleanerspodcast at gmail.com. Yes. So uh, if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.